Welcome back, guys. So, um, what I want to talk about today, not Christmas. As you can see, we're getting set up for Christmas because I'm uploading this probably before you're seeing it. Uh, we'll definitely ignore that. So, um, what I want to talk about today, today's goals, what we're doing today is we're going to talk about how to speak to your actors. So in case you're recording a scene like we're going to do today, uh, you know, it's helpful to know how to talk to your actors in, in more than a sense of, okay, here's some lines, now act sad. Something to kind of help you get a better performance out of your actors. And so today what we're doing is we're actually recording a scene from Sinister Sam the Menace, a feature film I worked on before uh, I started doing Slice Sam Productions. If you want to see the trailer, I'm happy to link it down below in the description. Um, and so... We're gonna be recording one of those scenes with different actors this time. I've sent them both the scripts. They've definitely looked it over. You definitely wanna have your actors ready to go, memorize their scripts. Uh, but what I wanna talk about is kind of the directing, so to say, in sense of like getting that better performance out of your actors. And so, uh, so what, what we're doing is I'll show, I'm gonna show you that footage too uh, after we kind of get through this talking here and I'm gonna list out some tricks then what we're gonna do is we're going to show you the footage of me actually directing, and then I'm gonna show you the scene itself, the edited scene itself. Uh, it's pretty simple, it's only gonna be a few cuts, nothing crazy, but this is more about talking to the actors than it is this, like, some crazy edited scene. So, first thing you wanna do is just kind of run through your script with the actors and point out parts in the script where you can kind of see what the character is feeling, what the character is going through, using the lines of what the character is saying. So just kind of in this instance, we'll look at Sam Alice when he admits what he's guilty of. And we'll use that to kind of help Stevie get through or see kind of what her character is going through in this moment or what he's been through and where some of this darker emotion that's coming out in this scene is coming from. Uh, another thing you definitely want to do is let the actors kind of go through almost an internal research and you need to go through it yourself too. And so what you're gonna do is you kind of read through the script, see what kind of emotion you wanna pull out of your actors and take that back into your own head and see if you can remember it something or associate some kind of uh, something with that feeling. So that way you kind of know what you need out of them. And that's gonna help you explain it to them better. You should like record you yelling like dead puppy babies at me. <laughs> like, this is how you get your this actors you get your to your stop actors laughing. Back. Think about our sweet dog Kuma jumping the fence and getting hit by a car. No, 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 All right. No, no, no. Kuma dying in your arms due to tumors. <sighs> All right, and one, two, three, ready. This is true. I don't want to do this. <laughs> true directing. Um, just for a camera log, there we told Chase that his cat ran away and loved someone else. All right, and three. She doesn't even love me. <laughs> So, uh, as well as having them almost kind of look back and kind of look for that emotion and some association or past memory is gonna help too. Because even if they're not, you know, even if they haven't been through what this character has been through, they can still portray that emotion through pulling it from some memory of their own. Uh, and that also kind of bleeds into a bit of an association too, if they want to associate this with something else. So, also what is good to do uh, in this scene you know, this is scene 39 out of 43 of this feature film. And so in this instance, when we go through, I'm gonna walk each actor through their character's backstory. What led them to this moment? Why are they here? What choices have they made? And where have those choices led them? So that way they can get into a more three-dimensional character. This isn't just some lines off a script. Here's a person that they're betraying. And that's really one of the biggest things is you wanna be able to help your actor take it from just some lines on a screen to to a whole a whole person so another thing too is you definitely want to kind of walk them through what the character's objective what is the character trying to get in this conversation and scene so looking at sam alice and lewinsky uh lewinsky is looking to get you know is looking to comfort sam and sam is looking almost for that comforting as he's kind of admitting what he's done feeling kind of lost hoping to you know help boost himself back up. So I've talked enough. I've done a lot of rambling. I'm sorry, but let's go ahead and jump locations real quick and let's jump to the footage of me actually directing them. And then from there, we'll go ahead and jump to the scene, uh, the scene itself.
Yeah, yeah so he ran his own ship. Oh, okay. Alice well, ran would, his own ship. He'd be the commanding officer. So that's why I'm, that's why I'm like, I'm just being factual here. We lost a good officer. We lost a good commander with you. That's, yeah, I like that more. So we lost a good commander with you, Alice. And then like, so Chase, I'm gonna start with you real quick. We're gonna run through your character's kind of backstory. What's going on here? So you're here in Russia. You saw Sinister Sam a yes. while ago, I know. So you know a little bit. Saw it twice. So, so you're playing, you're playing the role Jess was playing, Lewinsky. Mm -hmm. And so you're a close friend of Sam Alice here. Mm -hmm. And in this scene, you're trying to comfort Sam as he's confiding you in all the shit that he like did oh, okay. throughout the beginning I of the movie. Yeah. yeah, so Sam's gone through all this and he's feeling really like lost and depressed, like no idea, like truly defeated after he's been through this eight year, uh, Plight, he's just gotten in an argument with his close friend, killed another one. And so he's feeling real, real down and defeated right now. And in this instance, you're, you're kind of there, you're kind of getting on his level, trying to understand what he's been through and come back to it. And so yeah. that's why in the moments where you say like, I, you know, I can understand why you did it. And especially that line when you talk about would you been any worse off in prison? Mm-hmm. That's really kind of where like you show how close you are to Sam in the sense that like you, you know, you know, you're, you're really kind of getting onto his level in a sense like, look, like, you know, I can understand like, would you really have been any worse in prison? It seems like you've tortured yourself enough over it. Yeah. And so as you know, throughout this whole movie up to this point, uh, Sam's lost his wife, his kid, you know, his whole, his job, his friends, and he's yeah. been on kind of a murder rampage to go after Nikolai. Murder suicide. Yeah, this yeah. is important too, as you as you're hearing. This is your backstory. Yeah. I know. Yeah, and I so. Know I did. Let's take uh, whatever he's got. You cut me off. You know, at least we get to go home. You know, that is. Calm your proving ground. Speak for yourself, but there's nothing for me to go back to. I understand why you did it. No, you can't. You're out for revenge. It's a crazy thing. There's more than that. Maybe there is. Someone killed my wife, took my family. I do anything. I'm guilty, Lewinsky. What do you mean? The charges, the trial, those military secrets. I did all of it. I was guilty, and they let me go. Would you have been any worse off in prison? I don't know. No. Then you don't owe anyone an apology. You know, it took four years to replace you. The only reason French got it was because somebody owed his dad a favor. He's never piloted a boat in his life. <laughs> we lost a good commander with you, Alice. Well, you got me back now. I'm going to that. <laughs>